So, very, very, very important thing from the point of your prelims is this one. What are the features which we have borrowed from Canada in our Indian constitution? Centrifugal form of federalism where the center is strong than states. Next one, residuary powers, west with whom? Do you have an idea this residuary powers? No idea. Generally, there is a list called central list, state list. Center have some hold and states have some hold. There is some concurrent list and another there is a list called residual list. For example, uh, if you can say gambling, not gambling, uh, this what you can say cryptocurrency. So, cryptocurrency, that's what it was not mentioned in any of the list. It's a recent emerging trend, right? It was not there in any of the list. So, it comes under residual list. Obviously, it, it can be dealt by whom? Center itself. It's a new arriving things, right? So, the same thing we have taken from his him, Canadian government. Next one, center appoints the governorate states. Who appoints? So, this was mentioned in which, where? Canada. Advisory jurisdiction of Supreme Court. So, this advisory jurisdiction to whom? President of India. So, what are the provisions which we have taken from the Canada? First one is what? So, center is strong than states. Second one is what? Residuary powers rest with whom? Center. Third one is what? Center appoints whom? Governor. Third one is what? Advisory jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. These are the very, very important, very important. So, next prelims practice question is what are the features borrowed from Canada in Indian constitution? Residuary powers rest with the center. Okay. Center appoints the governor at the states. Advise the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Judicial review. Did you see over there? So, judicial review, we have adopted this from USA. Right? So, what is the answer here? Three options. Three options.